Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the first movie of a four-part movie series of the magical girl, lyrical Nanoha. Okay, so my the history on this series with me, I haven't seen this series since I was in middle school. It was one random day. Um, it's between, like, elementary school versus middle school me. I think that was around the time when, like, yeah, around the time when I watched it. Um, you know how, like, sometimes when you're on YouTube and you are just listening or and or watching, like, a whole bunch of anime, um, music videos? Well, <laughs> I kind of remember this like this was yesterday. I just don't remember the song that was playing in the anime music video that I was watching on YouTube at the time. But, um, it could have been, like all around the world-ish. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but uh, this series, uh, I'm it was just the original series, was um, featured in the AMV. And one of the, it was also like the Tenchi Moyo spinoff series. I think it was the Magical Girl Pretty Sammy series um, that was also featured in the music video and such. And so because I was so interested and it, I was like, oh, yeah, let me go ahead and watch it. And whoo, yeah, that was a journey. Let's just say that. Uh, but from what I remember, but because it has been such a long time since I've seen this series, like, of course, I'm not going to remember everything. So just like with the Ruffy Starlight series, um, this is going to be like a second introduction with me to this series, of course, because I don't really remember any true thing. I know this is like... It, it, it's supposed to be the original series, but it's just, I, I'm guessing it's very similar to, like, with Death Note when they had the two movies that came out, um, recapping, like, the whole series, and it's, like, with added scenes, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure on that. Of course, I'm not gonna know until we get into it and such, but of course, I am going to have questions because <laughs> I ain't gonna remember Jack-ish, um... But yeah, uh, one more thing I want to say. Of course, just like with any other video that I've done, especially when it comes to movies, I can only do up to a certain amount of minutes in my video. So of course, this will be cut down into, for me personally, three parts. But for you guys, you will get the whole movie. So it'll be like in the span of two hours because I'm probably not getting this done until about like maybe two or three o'clock in the morning. Um... I think like roughly each video should be about 40 to 50 minutes long. I'm guessing all together and such. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy the reaction. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> until then, I will see you guys all next time for movie two. Okay, wait, one more thing. I literally forgot. All right, BTW, since it is now the fifth, um, we are still currently into Hell Week Part 2 for work for me. Um, the plan is for this series from what the per the person who requested this series, they said I can take a break anytime I need to. So the plan for me to do is to at least watch the first two movies. Then when I do movie three, take a break before I do movie three and then kind of at least try to do movie three and movie four together. I'm not really 100% sure on that because like I said, there are some days where I'm working either five days a week or six days a week and it's kind of a little hard to plan what time or what day of the week I can personally um record this like specifically this because this is a two hour freaking movie and today or really today yesterday slash today is the only time that I was able to do this and so just know there are going to be some times where it might one day, one week it might be here and then the next week it might not. So just bear with me if you don't see something after movie two. Just know it's coming. It may not come until the week after. But I will also let the person who requested this series know before I do that. So yeah. But yeah, let's go ahead and start with the movie. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and then I'll see you guys in one second. For part one, enjoy the video, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Alrighty, part one in three, two, one, go. Now, BTW, if I do yawn, just know, like I said, it, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> all this energy that I have, <laughs> but I am sleepy. <laughs> hmm. 
but I'm doing this for you guys because I love you guys. Well, that's not good. Kid running away from something. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. And of course, she's going to find him. Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be me tomorrow when I wake up to go to work. <laughs> I just remember, like, the first time when I saw her, like, pictures and everything. Of course, she gave me hella Car Captain Sakura vibes, the way, like, she looks. Mm hmm from your dream. And she's gonna go by him. Find him, the destiny. Oh.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God, look at that phone, Jesus. Well, no, most of the most flip phones are coming back nowadays, so you know, hey. Mm. Mm. No, of course, they don't feel any of that. There's no time to freak about, <laughs> like, honey. No, no. <laughs> Now, it's just so funny because when you think about this, that monster is literally here waiting for this to happen.
I love fucking stuff. Like, ah! I feel like a little kid again watching. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> I'm a poor child. <laughs> she trying though. <laughs> No, 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 you got this, baby. Oh, God. Like there's something on my arm, my arm, my leg. Oh my god! Mm. Uh. Maybe if you say faster. He was born for this. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Nice shot, though.
Are there like a hundred of them? I, I mean, I'm guessing like. Mm. Oh, you okay? Just tired. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe you probably won't believe me, but I'm from another world. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Nana Mizuki? Ma'am? Gotcha. Oh, excuse me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Of course, that's not going to be good. Speaking of jewel seeds...
long. You're taking too long. She's right. Cause didn't her and Nanoha and that layer really see like eye to eye or something? Or is that me? Like I'm trying to remember so hard. Like uh <laughs> At least listen to her. Oh my god, dang. <laughs> Hell, I probably said this as a kid. It's giving, you know, <laughs> the little teeny tiny bits of car come to Sakura between Sakura and Shadon when they could not see eye to eye. And I was like, oh, these two. This girl. I mean, but you know what? At least she apologized first. Before doing what she did. Yeah, so of course, the only friend Faith have is Arf. So of course, she's gonna feel some type of way about Nanoha.
eight. I mean, ain't nobody asking the question on why this little girl's walking around by herself. I mean, come on. She like, what, under 10? 12, maybe. Jesus. 10 or 11, like, girl. Well, your parents. <laughs> if we was being real. It's just for your safety. Maybe that tower right there, like, mm, and not just faith in earth. But it does just make you wonder who's going to hit it first.
hurry. Go, go, go. Dang it, Arf. See, something just tells me right now, like, the only big, big reason why Faith is doing this is for her mom. Come on, Faith! Just listen to her. Don't fight her. Yeah, I know, because she hard-headed. It's the magical girl way, you know. Not all magical girls hard-headed, but some of them are. Exactly. So just hear her out, Faith. Stop being hard-headed, Faith. Like, girl. Talk! I know. Arf, shut up. Like, damn! And of course, that's because they both wanted to seal it at the same time. Can't do that.
Uh huh. But that took a lot out of her. I think I got like what 10 more minutes before I'm done yeah so how do you repair it Because it just seems like, you know, she has a tragic life. Mm hmm. So, of course, you, you want the jewel seeds for your mom to help your mom. Oh my god.
God, I forgot how dark this show was. Cause woo, yeah, forty three minutes in, and yeah, the, for the first movie, <laughs> this shit dark, dark, like uh oh. Something probably at the time, you know, middle school teacher shouldn't have been watching, but middle school teacher was like, yeah, let's watch it anyway. Because I know myself. Mm -mm. She's not going to listen. And what if you lose? <laughs> Put under arrest. <laughs> Can she with the freaking It's okay. You bring her in.
She did, but she, you know, she was. Okay, I know we're getting to a pause, right? Right there. All right, so for part one, I mean, oof, uh, uh, it, it's just okay. From uh, it goes really fast, and I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I do love that because, of course, with the original series and with this, like, of course, they can't keep every little nitty gritty thing that happened in the original series into this. They have to crunch it down within two hours. And even though we're only 49, about to be 50 minutes into this movie, it's honestly really good to see these characters that I have not seen in a long, long ass time. Honestly, it's really good. I mean, there, there's some things still I don't remember and such. Seeing the transformation the first time, like, oh, the goosebumps that you get. Like, damn, like, oh my god, has it really been that long time? But it has. But like, oh my god, it, it's just so good. I, I like I said I, I completely forgot how dark this was especially getting to that that moment where Fate's mom whipped the crap out of her was you know completely forgot and, and thinking about that like oh like damn like yeah this is really like traumatic and what I when I went back and I looked to do like my little research into trying to remember most of this I did see that a lot of people you know um applauded like the traumatic moments and how dark it really truly gets because these girls eventually do get affected by it like truly surely but yeah it's a really good you know part one we got two more parts but i'm gonna take me a little quick break before we start part two i, I like i said i want to get this done before i go to bed and such but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for part two okay part two and three two one go yeah the jewel seeds mm -hmm. Now, that would probably be the end of the whole entire universe. See? See? Fate, how can you be so sure it's going to be okay, honey? Uh, you know, I agree with Arf. But you only want your mother's approval, don't you?
But she's still my mom. That's because they don't want to be found. Yeah, it could be like an alternate, like where she might die type of wrist. I mean, Jesus, seven, honey, and you trying to seal all of them? I mean, does does she have a death wish? I mean, but this is Faith we talking about. I mean, her name Faith. But remember, she doing this all for her mom, and her mom's dream. You know you want to.
coming down like a little cute angel. Oh my god. Girl, both of them together, that could freaking end the world if they really wanted to. No, that was smart and very impressive. Yes, it could have been death defying and everyone could have died, but you know, hey! Nah, yeah, she's just gonna steal him. The fact that Arf would still be like, yeah, let me go ahead and steal the jewels. Like, baby, <laughs> I get it, but like, oh.
It's not like every single time. Now, I know how it wants to just, you know, make friends with fate. Someone has to interfere. Anything. Jesus. She's right. Oh, God, I gotta fight it. I gotta fight it. I can't go to bed. Right? That's cruel. What you gonna do? Give him to her? Uh, and of course, I just feel it some type of way. Oh. 
cold. Oh, it. Earth. Because you want to be friends with her and hang out with her and play with her. And now we over here playing so we smart. <laughs> And she's her mother. Yeah, but even if she loses, shouldn't she know about what happened first? 
I mean, yes, it would be a distraction if you went and told her then, but... Damn. She got way too deep into it. Mm. But you really think, Fate, that helping your mom will make things go back to the way they were? They won't. They really won't. Oh my god, she gives me hella Futaba vibes. Oh, that hurts. So yeah, of course she's going to experience so much loneliness. They don't care. That's just business for them.
She even waited for all oh, my heart, baby. But you're not going to be able to after that. God, I want to cry right now. Jesus. You just feel so bad for her. That's a lie. Your mom lying. Lies. Great. God damn, they destroying she just destroying everything. She don't care. Oh No, of course none of us gonna block them.
not as much as you, fate. <laughs> not as much as you, baby. You're not going to be able to get through that. That right there, that's your sign to just go ahead and get up. Give up. Throw that towel. Be like, you know what? Yeah, I know how you win. Let me stop. Mm. That's pretty. Yeah, you can't you can't run away from that thing right there. That thing is too big and, and it's getting bigger. Now I think Nana has at her limit. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Here comes mommy.
<laughs> I wonder how that's gonna go. We gonna take her into custody. <laughs> not gonna work. Look, this woman a little too powerful, so she gonna knock all these men down like it's nothing. Oh, but she's still dying at the same time. Like, oof. No, she also, if she's, with her promise, is she talking about fate? There's so... What? Ma'am? Hold up. Was that a little too easy or was that just me? That's way too easy. Alrighty, go ahead and pause the video. <laughs> I, I mean, we, what we gonna do? We just gonna talk about the rest of this in part three. So, um, which is like part four for me. So go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final part of this movie. Alright, final part in three, two, one, go. Oh! Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait. Wait. <laughs> so. Uh, so, okay. Alicia is still. Something happened to her. And of course. Mm -hmm, that's why she abuses fate. She doesn't care about fate. She just wants to wake up her original daughter. And that's all she remembers. And the cat. Come on, man. Mm. So that's exactly what she did. It's so horrible.
girl, she about to end the dang world. We all Oh, of course, because all she wants is her daughter back. Jesus. No, not the cat. And that's how she made our and the rest of them. Oh! Yep, there's Arf. No. God, she's overworking herself. Like, you, you know it's real bad when you coughing up blood. Like, bruh, like, my thing is, why don't you go see a doctor? Like, oh. 
Don't go back there. Oh, oh is she so oh, is she about to get killed? Oh shit. Yeah, because of the fact that both you and Alicia died that day. You could start anew with fate. That's fucked up. Hold on, is it rash to be splitting into groups? I mean, yes, I know that's a good idea, but shouldn't at least you guys stay together, I'm just saying. so much she's just a shell now And they always say, like, you know, hey, like, parents don't have their favorites. They do. They do. They just love one more than the other. And, and and that's bad. You should always love your kids equally, no matter what. Never have favorites. Because you will make one, you know, very upset. And just not jealous. Well, yeah, they're going to be jealous, but upset. And they're going to feel like they're not going to be needed.
And of course, Nana Miski is singing over this. Of course, because yes, we gotta have the queen singing for her character. Honestly, we don't have time to be like, yes, let's catch up real quick. God dang, that's a light show, Jesus. I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. You just, you know, this isn't going to work, so just stop. Almost done, Deja. Yep, we got 20 more minutes. We got this. Excuse me. Exactly. No matter what you do, you can't bring her back.
To acknowledge you. That too, but ultimately acknowledge you. Abandon ship. <laughs> Abandon all hope. <laughs> You're not going to stay there. She's not going to stay there. Like, no. And all she wants is Alicia, even now. And you had one. And your mom treated her like dirt. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Six months. Woo, we serious? You know how long that is? That's a long time. Mm. (laughs) 
And then you went back to your somewhat normal life, Nanoha. Aww. Well, yeah, you two are friends now. And she's gonna need someone else on this journey besides our if that six months, six months, six freaking months, bruh. Of course. They girlfriends, oh my god. <laughs> oh.
Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was everything I needed and more. That was sweet. You know, honestly, in the two hours of... And I cannot believe we, that was two hours. That didn't feel like two hours for me. It felt like an hour and like 30 minutes. But, oh, God. I mean, okay, I have to say that fate... And, and it's funny looking at it now because maybe middle school me... If I had watched that series, I don't know when the S Word series came out. I had, I had to be sometime when I was in like high school, at least pre middle school, going into high school. Fate is very similar to Chris in this Simple series. Not only because not the music he is in there, but she ain't, she don't play Chris. She play, you know, <laughs> she play the other best girl. But I think just their stories are very similar, and you feel bad for, oh, she looks so cute with that, oh, that's adorable. But, oh, God, like, this gave me the feels. I, I mean, like, I ain't cry. Did not cry, but I had some feels, like, oof. I was not imagining, like, for it to go down that. And, but, and plus, it, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen this series. But the fact is you had a mother who tragically lost her daughter and wanted to do everything in her power to bring her daughter back and to make a puppet version who looks like her daughter but to still treat Gotta hold on. Um, the child 
the new child like absolute trash because you still love that first one and no one will replace that first one you feel bad for the new one because it's like well what can I do to you know get my mother's approval and stuff so yeah you do really feel bad for faith and I keep saying faith fate and, and I hope you know when we do watch movie two three four you know her story does get better and, and such because this was a sad behind story but I'm, I'm glad you know her and Anna are friends very glad they're girlfriends they're girlfriends we all know right there they exchanged ribbons they're girlfriends. I don't care what you tell me. They are girlfriends. They By the end of the series, they will be married. Okay? That's all. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about that. But yes, they will be married. I mean, honestly. Still, as I said in the first half, seeing the transformation of this again was really good. I mean, seriously, I felt like I was a little kid again rewatching this and it was really good even with everything all bunched up in a good two-hour movie I think it did good because sometimes usually in my opinion I'm kind of skeptical on recap movies or especially when they add new stuff to a recap movie because then it's like how are you going to give and put every little single detail that you had and like for example when I was watching the review Starlight uh, recap movie my thing was what all are they gonna put in that movie what all is gonna stay what all is gonna go and they and really for a two or for almost like what a two-hour movie um they took a lot of things out who shoot excuse me sorry I got a couple more minutes. I can do this. Um, they took a lot of things out of that movie. And I still enjoyed it for what it was. And that's very similar to this. Even though with this, like I said, my thing is I don't remember a lot of ish. So I think probably maybe when I am done watching this movie series, maybe on my own time, um, I will definitely rewatch the original series. Of course, Nana Mizuki did amazing in this role because it's not a music key any role that she's in is always going to be one of my personal favorites because i do like her as a voice actress as well um nanoha adorable baby precious girl love her so much cannot wait to see her in movie too and whatever the fuck is about to happen in movie too whoever voices nanoha because it's not um it's not Sakura from Car Captain Sakura because that's a completely different voice. But they do sound similar at times. Like, especially when you hear her say, like, um, mm, or just, like, certain sayings. You're like, yeah, does that sound like the same person? Could that possibly be her? But, you know, once again, I have to think, and it's so funny because when you look at it at, you know, the mother of magical girl genres because without her all these magical girl shows that are coming out would have never been able to come to the light or to be born and be made and such so you know you still gotta always think it's a freaking Sailor Moon and such and I, I mean I got feels to not only Sailor Moon I got hella feels to Car Captain Sakura I did get Symphogear Gear vibes into this movie it way before you know I think at the time when I watched the series originally in middle school I was just like oh my yeah all the Sailor Moon vibes and Car Captain Sakura vibes that I'm getting with this except it's dark now going into this and having like a new set of fresh of eyes on it and being older on it I'm like yeah this is like completely different but I'm still getting feels to this but yeah I am like I said once again I am excited to see what is next for this series um how darker they're possibly going to go because yeah movie one is only what I like to say is like the little tippy tippy start of how dark this series could go do I feel like it's gonna be something like dark like you know Yuki Yuna or Madoka Magica slash Magica Recorde or any other dark magical girl show that has come out now mm, a little bit of yeah a little bit of no but I, I there's a point there's like a there's a line between you know certain types of magical girl shows that go dark 
And I think this series is at, like, in the, not in the between of, like, if I could say where some dark magical girl show where shows that go, like, ridiculous, and then some of them are smart in how they do it, this is at the smart. I don't know how far this show can go or this series can go with how dark they're going to go. Um, but it is going to be really interesting to see how they talk about like the mental issues of these girls because remember these girls like Nana is in third grade so she's at least under 10 years old and this is a lot of responsibility on this little girl and such same thing with um with fate and all and, and I'm guessing like what the rest of the girls who eventually join those two and later on in the series which because uh, of course it's gonna happen <laughs> definitely but I feel like yeah the the next three movies that we see I feel like it's going to be even darker than this one like I said this was this was the calm before the storm and then you know the next three are just going to be the storm part one two and three but I really enjoyed rewatching or going back into this and seeing like having a a, a different thought that I had, especially when I was in middle school, because, you know, it, it, of course, you're the way you think in middle school versus the way you think so many years later when you are a, um, a young adult or an adult, it is completely different and vast and such. And I think that's probably why I'm ex I, I was extremely happy and excited that someone requested this because I, I always kind of wanted to watch these movies and such. And I'm like I said, I'm glad, but I, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm probably going to go ahead and say this now. Or I might wait until we get to, like, the last movie series, which I think, well, yeah, I think I'm going to wait until we get to the last movie series to talk about that. Um, but yeah, enjoyed it a lot, I, and I cannot wait to see movie two. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view. <laughs> That is my reaction and review towards movie one of Magic Hope Girl, Lyrical Nanoha. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys. Okay, so now that's the biggest question. What day am I having this come out? Because honestly, I still don't know. Um, I might be smart and possibly have this come out the same day as jobless reincarnation because normally like uh what i did with the previous series um 86 and everything here comes cody again um when i normally do like two patreon shows i will have one come on monday and the other one come out on um wednesdays but honestly with this i don't really know yet but if i don't have an answer like as of now it might be monday and it might be wednesday i might just do wednesday just to have them both come out at the same time or to just be separate, but just come out, uh, have it come out at separate times. So, but if not, I'll probably have it come out on Monday. So, <laughs> for now, <laughs> um, of course, Patreons will see me next Saturday for movie two, and then everybody else, you will see me the next time. You know, whenever, whatever day, <laughs> movie come, movie one comes out after that, that is when you will see me with movie two. As I said in part one of this video. It is going to be a little hard for me to go ahead and get all these movies done ASAP. So if there's a point, as the person who requested this series said, if I needed to take a break, I will take a break. Like I said, the goal is to get movie one and movie two out for you guys ASAP. So once movie two comes out and like maybe a week or two from now, um, that is probably will uh, that will probably be the time. Well, I uh, I can't speak because I'm sleepy. Uh, I will probably be taking a break from the movie and then coming back to do movie three and four to get those out. And then, yeah. So, just in case you are probably wondering, like, yeah, Deja, what is movie three and movie four? That is the reason why. And I will remind people just in case because I know people are going to forget. Remember, I am just one person trying to, you know, get through her day and get through the, all the challenges she has to do. But I need to get ready to go to bed. I gotta go to work in the afternoon. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!